So on the screen, we see examples of brain scans. On the left-hand side is a healthy brain, and we're looking at the inside of the brain. These are called brain spect scans. And on the right, you're seeing a hateful brain that is over-focused. And on that picture, where the arrow is, is the part of the brain that's responsible for shifting gears in the brain. So when it's overactive, the, brain, the person tends to ruminate on the same thought, obsess on the same thought. It's the same part of the brain that's responsible for error detection. So somebody who's more prone to looking at people's errors or faults is going to zone in on that. The next scan is uh, the outside of the brain. The colors don't mean anything. We look at holes and dent marks. On the left-hand side is a healthy-looking brain, which is round, symmetrical, um, no holes or dents. And on the right side, we're seeing a problem in this person's left temporal lobe. I like to think of it as temporal, temples, temper. Easier to remember that way. Left temporal lobe significantly decreased, and when that's down, you tend to see problems with hate and violence and dark thoughts. Finally, on the last scan, uh, on the left-hand side, we're seeing a healthy scan again. And on the right-hand uh, example is an example of a low frontal lobe function. So where those arrows are pointed, there's a decrease in the prefrontal cortex. That part of the brain is responsible for empathy and impulse control. But are we born with that? No. Most of the time, humans are not born with that. And these are because of so many factors that occur in life. Head injuries, substance abuse, psychiatric illnesses, toxins, infections, anoxic injuries. So you're not born with that brain? Usually yeah. not. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.